We already have a full line of mods waiting for this boat, including bimini tops, all sorts of fun stuff, literally ready to go. But today we are doing a bare bones review and not really review, but a first impressions of the world's cheapest $600 John Boat. Now I got mine on sale, but they run sales all the time. I picked it up from Tractor Supply. They sell them at Academy. They have competitors like the Pelican Intruder, the Pond Prowler, 12 foot John Boat. They've got uh, the Dick Sporting Goods versions and they all have their own deep discounts. So I paid $600, 643 after taxes and about $670 after registration fees. And listen, like I said, I've had the water tender. I've modded the crap and caught big fish and taking the prowler out on like some serious swells and chops and some nasty days and scared myself so at this point i pretty much know what i'm talking about when it comes to these little plastic boats that's why i've got to pick this one up because they don't make aluminum boats that much anymore you know you can find some shops around there that'll send you some online that that'll make them for you but for the most part they're not really affordable cheap boats anymore i mean depending on your perspective because aluminum is so expensive so everything's moving to much cheaper plastic and that's what this channel is all about okay very first impressions the rod holders are absolutely worthless the bench height is better than i thought it would be and the stability is surprisingly good I've had a lot of anxiety about flipping this thing because I only boat in the ocean. You will hardly ever see me in freshwater. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious how this day is gonna go. So freaking excited. Already versus the Prowler, way more room. And it's surprisingly stable in first impression. All right, now I gotta, I gotta make the long trek all the way back to the stern so I can steer this zone gun. And another immediate thing that I have uh, realized, there are zero cleats that come on this boat. So I can't anchor at all. I mean, I knew that, but I can't anchor at all. So that, that's one thing, but let's see how this thing actually fishes as I am gonna modify this to be a ocean worthy fishing vessel. All right, let's stand up. Honestly, it's really stable, but very first impressions, this floor is absolutely horrible. Now, it's good for water pooling in so it doesn't get everything wet, and also it is for rigidity, but man, that is unbearable. Let's see, we're gonna do a stability test later, but let me just pop up here. Oh, that's way better. That is significantly better. All right, this is how we're gonna fish. I'm telling you right now, this is the spot to fish, folks. This is very comfortable. Now we are at a very calm day. I wanted to give it a fair shake because to be honest, most of you are not gonna be putting this boat on the ocean or the bay or major channels like I do every day. So it's not that big of a deal, but we will be doing rough water tests. Now, if I'm shooting you completely straight, I do think you're gonna pay more than $600 if you don't wait for a nice sale. I was gonna buy it anyway, but I think the good Lord told me, hey, you need to buy this boat because the Prowler's done and people are sick of seeing the same mods on the same boat, right? So for the overall price, under $700 out the door after taxes and after registration fees is definitely the world's cheapest John boat. I just saw it blow up on the surface over there, so we're gonna cast a little bit past it. But overall, there is so much room on this compared to the Prowler. And the fact that it is wider and it is bigger, it makes up for some of the stability uh, that people have issues with since the flat bottom. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am in a very, very good mood because I am very happy with my purchase. Now, as you guys know, we do work with a lot of companies and most of the modifications you see on my boat are for free. But rest assured, I paid my own money for this boat. And so I am really curious to see, you know, after a while, what I really think of this boat. But my first impressions are better than I thought. I really did not think that I would be able to stand up here and fish comfortably based off all of the reviews. Now, granted, I am 6'1", I am in really good shape, and I did action sports since I was 15, and that's how my first business was action sports skateboarding, so my balance is really good. So please keep that in mind. Don't just do this if you're 250 pounds, 55 years old, and expect it to be just completely blown away as I am today. Man, look how beautiful this water is. You couldn't have asked for a better day. Thank you, Lord. It is gorgeous. All right, so another reason that I wanted this boat over the Pond Prowler, actually, you know what? Let's move up here. Let's see how the stability is when the beam is a slightly a little bit more narrow. Uh, honestly, it feels the same for me. Woo, it's really hot on my feet though. We are gonna get some uh, 
boat decking on that ASAP. We got a lot of freaking cool mods in mind, folks. But the Pond Prowler, although more stable, it was definitely uh, slower because of the pontoon style versus the flat bottom here. There's just simply less resistance in the water for the flat bottom. Also, the Pond Prowler's transom is only rated to take on a three and a half horsepower motor maximum. This maxes out at seven, which means, of course, people put tens on them because why wouldn't you? Anyway, the boat can simply just go faster. And if you have two adults, two full grown adults, you can take a kid with you. Realistically, I've seen people, you know, three, you know, lightweight adults like myself. You can, you can do three of those, like me, my wife, and maybe one of her friends. That'll be a whole different video, and stay tuned for the in-depth stability video where I might actually flip this boat on purpose and see what it takes to flip it. So fishing off the stern bench, perfectly stable. Fishing off the, th this makes me really want to deck it, folks. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to deck this boat literally after being on the water for 10 minutes. This thing is freaking sweet, folks. I'm genuinely surprised. Not a bad view. Not a bad Saturday morning. I tell you what. So let's talk about this weight limit. The weight limit is set as the Coast Guard safety standard, but if I'm being honest, it's the same as the Prowler, if not very similar, and people double it all the time. It's just kind of a safety standard. Same thing with the, uh, with the uh, horsepower rating. So hey, you can push it more. In fact, I've put over 550 pounds on the Prowler multiple times and it doesn't affect anything. It might go a little bit slower, uh, but it actually wasn't any more tippy, at least for me. And same deal with this. This one, you're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful because it is a flat bottom. So if you do overweight it, it will get more tippy. But as we add things to the floor, like aluminum or plywood with some uh, of that decking on it, we get some seats and eventually we get a six or horsepower or more on this boat. It'll kind of help the stability just a little bit, but overall I'm very impressed. But if you don't have good balance, keep in mind that your mileage may vary when it comes to walking around so comfortably on this boat. Point being, great value for the money. It is the world's cheapest John boat. Now there are <laughs> there are cheaper boats that are smaller. Um, like the West Marine Water Tender is only a 9.7 foot boat. I own that boat. I made a video with that boat and it cost $750 at West Marine. And it's a smaller freaking boat. $750 before taxes and registration for a boat that is significantly shorter and less wide. That boat freaked me and my wife out. We did a uh, choppy water, rough water test with it and it did not perform well and I sold it very quickly and I'm not the one to sell boats. I like to keep all my toys. So the fact that this costs less, even at the $700 price, costs less and you get way more boat and it's just flat out a better boat. All right, guys, I have to do something real quick. I have to freaking do something real quick. Oh, good Lord. Whew, we gotta hop out and we gotta get in the water, folks. It is dangerously hot with zero winds. Come with me, look at this. Look at how freaking awesome today is, folks. Bless the Lord. All right. Let's see how, uh, <laughs> I think I'm just going to get off the front, honestly. Oh, oh, that's nice and cool. Except we got the freaking shallow water alarm going nuts. Oh my gosh. This is actually working out good. I don't see any stingrays, so I should be pretty safe. Ah, except a freaking bee on my hat. It is so hot. My cameras are alternating between heating up to the point where they just shut down my phone and my GoPro. That's how freaking hot it is out here, folks. But look at this boat, man. Look at this boat. We're gonna make a full video on how I trailer it with a only an eight foot uh, utility trailer here soon. And this is part of my apparatus to make it work. But didn't this thing just flat out look awesome? Now the Prowler looks cool, but this looks, in my opinion, cooler. Look at all this bait right here. Ton of bait fish. Ton of bait fish. 
What a freaking beaut, folks. As you can see, I am taking full advantage of the extra rim I am not used to and just piling all my crap here. I can't get over this, folks. We got a new freaking toy. And there is a huge market for these little... You're kidding me, dude. You're kidding me. All right. But folks, there is a market for these boats because, you know, a $100,000 bass boat, a $30,000, $50,000 mini skiff, like it's just too much. I can't afford it. There's a lot of people who make way more money than I do, way older, they've got stuff, and they can't afford it. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's hard to beat $600 for a boat you can throw a six horsepower outboard on, a trolling motor that is mounted for it up here. They have a battery bracket right here, so you can just go ahead and put your battery up here and you can do whatever you want anyway. But it's just such a freaking cool boat for the money. That's the thing, for the money. Oh, it's so hot. Ah, my shirt's sticking to me. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that feels so much freaking better, folks. This is why we need a bimini chop. I can't even film because my GoPro wants to give up. Let's get back in this bad boy. I'm gonna try it from the side, see what happens. Well, whew, yeah, I don't know about that. Honestly, oh, no problem. No freaking problem. All right, we're on. We are freaking on, folks. Yep. That's how she freaking goes, dude. That's why we buy these. Trout. That's what we're here for, baby. He's got followers, dude. We got another trout here. I manhandled the first one just to show you on the camera, but from now on, we are going to be doing some safe releases. So, which is not fun to watch. It involves being in the water. So, just wanted to show you the trout. Something stinks, dude. Something freaking freaks like poop. Here comes some really good wake. We'll take it on broadside and we'll see what happens here. Let's see what this nice wake broadside will do to us. That's it? That's what people are worried about? All right, we've got some wake coming. We're gonna go full speed into it. Now it's nothing crazy but that is pretty decent weight from some good sized boats. So let's see if we get any splash here. Look at that. Oh yeah, like a freaking champ. Now those waves, they never really show on the wide angle here, but those were some decent, that was some decent wake right there. Oh, we got a crab pot, let's avoid that. But that was pretty well. So far we've taken pretty decent sized wake broadside and straight on and we took on zero water and it really didn't affect the stability and I'm very impressed. Folks, I've been catching trout but this is not a, a fishing video so I am going to cut a lot of that but we are gonna make a lot of fishing videos out of this boat, you better believe. But anyway, I do need to head back, Dadgum it! There was a blow up right there, hold on. I think I've got all of the first impressions I need to get out of the way and that's great because I'm going to take it out again, review it, and then we are going to do the pros and cons. We're gonna compare it to the Pond Prowler. We're gonna do a stability test, and then the world of mods commences. So if you wanna stick around for all these different performance tests, reviews, comparisons, as well as the full mod start to finish, 
hit that like and subscribe button. That's what we do. Tiny boat fishing. That's what it's all about. On a budget. That's the thing. We got to make it as cheap as possible. Anyway, folks. Oh, my motor's on. That's why I'm freaking moving. Anyway, see you next time.